Hi, welcome to Term Science. Today's topic is about how to solve a simple gas turbine engine problem. The word simple says that we are not considering intercooler, reheater and regenerator. Also, we are not considering isentropic efficiency of compressor and turbine. Now, let's start the problem. A simple constant pressure gas turbine plant draws air at 30 degrees Celsius draws air at 30 degrees celsius that is given t1 is equal to 30 degrees celsius convert it to kelvin by adding plus 273 that is t1 is equal to 303 kelvin and compress it through a pressure ratio of 6 that is rp is equal to 6 that is p2 divided by p1 is equal to 6 then air passes through combustion chamber and after combustion of fuel Gases enters at a temperature of 787 degrees Celsius, that is T3, 787 degrees Celsius, converted to Kelvin by adding plus 273, that is T3 is equal to 1060 Kelvin, and expand to a low pressure. Calculate thermal efficiency of plant, take gamma is equal to 1.4 for the as and R. Now draw PV diagram and TS diagram. We know that a simple gas turbine plant consists of four process that is process 1 to 2 isentropic compression in compressor, 2 to 3 constant pressure heat addition in combustion chamber and 3 to 4 isentropic expansion in turbine. 4 to 1 we consider as constant pressure heat rejection due to orthosphere. Now we will see one by one that is process 1 to 2 isentropy compression process from isentropic relation that is t2 divided by t1 is equal to p2 divided by p1 whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma we know that p2 divided by p1 is equal to rp so this equation can be written as t2 is equal to because you need to find out t2 is equal to rp whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into t1 then your T2 becomes 505.4 Kelvin without considering the isentropic efficiency of compressor which means we are taking the compressor efficiency is under percentage. Compressor is work consuming device so we need to find out the work given to the compressor. This equations already we derived previous classes from this playlist can you check please that is wc is equal to cp t2 minus t1 t2 we found out and t1 is given in the question cp take as 1.005 then wc is equal to 203.41 kilojoule per kg of air so compressor consume 203.41 kilojoule of energy per kg of air next process constant pressure heat addition in combustion chamber here we need to find out the amount of heat given to the air that is qs is equal to cp t3 minus t2 t3 is given in question t2 we found out then qs becomes 557 557.37 kilojoule per kg so the amount of heat given to the air is 557.37 kilojoule per kg of air next process 3 to 4 isentropic expansion process from isentropic relation that is 3 to 4 t3 divided by t4 is equal to p3 divided by p4 whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma we know that p2 is equal to p3 p1 is equal to p4 so p3 divided by p4 can be written as rp in this we need to find out t4 so t4 is equal to t3 divided by rp whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma then your t4 becomes 635.5 kelvin from this we need to find out the work produced by the turbine that is wt we need to find out that is cp t3 minus t4 t3 is given question t4 we found out then the turbine work is 426.62 kilojoule per kg of air that is Turbine produced work 
62 kilo joule per kg of air. Next process, photo 1, constant pressure heat rejection. From this we need to find out the amount of heat rejected that is QR. Cp, T4 minus T1. T4 we found out, T1 is given question. Cp is 1.005 and QR becomes 334.16 kilo joule per kg of air. Now we need to find out net work done that is the amount of is supplied minus heat rejected or work produced minus work consumed. So QS minus QR or WT minus WC. So net work done becomes 233.21 kJ per kg of air. Next we will find out thermal efficiency that is efficiency is equal to net work done divided by heat supplied. We already found out net work done that is QS minus QR or WT minus WC divided by QS. Then your efficiency becomes 40.04 percentage. This problem is solved without considering the turbine and compressor efficiency. That means we considered compressor and turbine efficiency are under percentage. And you can see here T1 is given in question, T2 we found out, T3 is given in question, T4 we found out. So all four state points we know the temperatures. Similarly, we found out compressor work input and also turbine work produced. Also, the heat supplied we found out and the heat rejection also we found out. Finally, W net that is 223.21 kJ per kg of air, the total work we had positive work and then efficiency is 40.04 percentage. Kindly remember this problem to solve the rest of problem. So we are going to take this problem as base problem and going to continue intercooler, regenerator and reheater. In next class, we will see what is the effect of the compressor efficiency and turbine efficiency on gas turbine engine. If you like this video, kindly share, subscribe and like. Thank you.